Okay, so after three nodes, our look is coming along pretty well, but one of the big visual areas of this image is obviously the spaceship wall in the background. And one of the things about the spaceship wall is that I'm not in love with the color blue that it is, and I also would like it to be a lot softer. So right now, because of how this image was shot, it had a pretty high depth of field, and the background is just a lot more in focus than I would like it to be. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to use the qualifier again, and I'm basically going to treat the background as a giant green screen, or I guess blue screen, and isolate the whole background so that I can make an adjustment to that entire image area. So again, I'm just going to add a new node, but this time instead of putting it sort of sequentially in my node tree, I actually want to place it in between node 1 and 2. And the reason I want to do that is because I've made some adjustments that might affect the background down here in later nodes. But since I want to isolate just the background area, I don't want any of these adjustments interfering with the qualifier that I'm going to use. So once I have that node in place, I'm going to go down again to my qualifier panel. And just like before, I'm just going to drag around the image area that I want to select. And I'm going to turn on the highlight so I can see what I'm doing. And that's going to show me that I've got a pretty good selection here. But I'm still going to want to make some fine adjustments down here in the qualifier, so I'm just going to do that real quick. And really what I'm trying to do here with the qualifier, you'll notice that there's areas that are not selected or highlighted that are in sort of the blue background in the wall. And really what I'm trying to do here is to isolate an area that when adjusted will not be obvious to the viewer. And so I may need to go back and make some adjustments to this later because obviously you can see there's some areas that aren't perfectly selected, but I also don't want to have my qualifier bleeding into my subject or into any of the other things that are going on in this shot, like the feather up here on the top of the helmet. So if I turn off the highlight, it's going to look the same because I haven't made any adjustments to that area yet. But now what I'm going to do is adjust my background and sort of shift the color of it and also adjust the blur of it. First, I'm going to change the color, and to do that, I'm going to adjust my lift, gamma, and gain. And I'm actually going to use the primaries for this. And the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the lift. And as you can see, as I'm making these adjustments, it's just affecting the wall and it's not affecting our subject at all because I've isolated the wall behind her. And I'm going to adjust the gamma just a little bit. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is blur out this background so it's not so sharp and so crisp in the image. And to do that, I'm just going to go to my blur panel, and I'm just going to bring the blur up, and you'll see as I do that, it sort of softens the background. That actually looks pretty good. And now we can take a look, if we sort of do it before and the after, this is with our adjustments added, and this is before our adjustment, and this is after. And as you can see, we've been able to achieve quite a dramatic difference with the background and the wall by making those adjustments. Now, when I play this back, there might be some areas where the qualifier shows through uh, where we might have to go back in and adjust our qualifier to make sure that it looks okay. You can see that everything looks pretty good. And so the next thing that we need to do is extend our spaceship wall so that we don't have this empty area at the edge of our image. And to do that, I'm going to use another node and an alpha output to do some quick compositing in DaVinci Resolve without having to go into another program. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the next tutorial.